What is going on team? In today's video, I wanna talk about my Airbnb business and how I've been able to make over 2K revenue every single month since I started back in July 1st, 2022. If you're looking for a get rich quick, hey, do this in a month and you're gonna become a millionaire type of video, I'm sorry, this is not it. You can go ahead and skip over. But if you are looking for a way to make passive income with Airbnb, then I suggest you keep watching. So most of the videos that we see online, let it be YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, is these gurus who come in and they say, hey, make thousands of dollars with Airbnb. No money down, this is how you do it. Do it overnight type of business. Unfortunately that's not the case for me the way that I run my business is I rent rooms out a lot of people don't even know this some of my friends that do Airbnb I have been doing it for months once I told them that I was gonna do the share of rooms they didn't even know that was a possibility and I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys watching aren't sure either so what do I mean by I rent rooms out basically what I just said how it all started was I needed a place to live as I've said before I've been wanting to do Airbnb for a couple years now for some reason or another the timing was never right however since I needed a place to live it made perfect sense to get an Airbnb so what I did was I went on Facebook I messaged a couple homeowners that had their house up for lease on Facebook and I try to make these in-person meetings. I didn't go in with a strategy of hey I'm gonna do Airbnb and I'm gonna lease the entire house and I'm gonna become a millionaire. That's not what I went with when I first wanted to do Airbnb. I knew the business worked because I did it before in 2018 and I have been watching a lot of people like I said before a couple of my friends that have been doing Airbnb. They are doing the entire home. Again I'm only doing the rooms. So long story short I met up with a homeowner. I let them know like hey I'm looking for a place to live. It just happened to be like this person, this homeowner, they wanted to do Airbnb in their house. However, they didn't have the time. So I was pretty much honest with them since day one. I was like, hey, um, I, I need a place to live. However, I am looking to do Airbnb. Is that something that we could possibly put in the lease? Uh, is that something that you're okay with? If, and, and then you can raise my rent up if you like. We'll go from there, you know, give me like three months. Let me see how the business works. If you think it's a good fit, if, I'm a, if it's a good fit for me, then we'll keep doing it. She pretty much said, yeah. She, she basically said, give me a couple days. Uh, let me think about it. And I, I believe she messaged me back that same night. And like a week or so later, we were signing the lease. So that's a little bit about how I started my Airbnb business. Now my business model, again, is only rooms. I only rent rooms out. I have a three, two, and one of those rooms is for me. Um, one of those rooms is my little office for when I get out of work, have my little um, you know area where I can work, sleep, obviously, and I have my own bathroom. Now, my guests, they do share the kitchen, they, they do share the living room, they do share those spaces, and they also share the bathroom. I put this all in my listings. All of my guests know pretty much what they're walking into. A lot of people are not familiar with the shared room business model, and they do message me sometimes. I believe today in the morning, I had a guest who pretty much messaged me wondering, like, hey, how does this shared work? Like, are all the people gonna be in the house with me? Are other people gonna share the bathroom, the kitchen? Like, how does it work? And I pretty much explained to them, you know, whenever they do ask if, if the house is gonna be shared, how, how it works. A lot of guests are cool with this. Some of them, very, I wanna say maybe one or two, haven't been okay with it. Like I said, the share room business or the share room model is not as commercialized or is not as advertised as the entire place. I feel like a lot of the influencers that talk about their Airbnb business is mostly the entire place. And since that is the case, a lot of people don't know about the shared room. So like I said, my business model is pretty simple. I rent two rooms out. One goes for 47, the other one goes for 49. I'm gonna go ahead and show you the pictures on so you guys can have an idea of what the listings look like. I also put the listings down below so you guys can go check them out if you'd like to. Keep in mind that I do live in Tampa. The market Market might be different wherever you are living the market might be different rent wise room wise whatever whatever the case is in your area so keep in mind whenever you if you want to start doing Airbnb if you want to start you know some type of passive income with Airbnb keep that in mind because I did a lot of research when I first started Airbnb I was going in like if I was gonna book a room and I was looking around the neighborhoods I was looking to see okay this part of town they book for X amount this part of town they books for X amount that's basically how I narrow my search and how I decided where I wanted to live and I will make a video about that eventually because I want to talk to you guys how I decided where to live how I decided okay is this gonna run out is this not gonna run out let's look at the comps and stuff like that I think that's gonna be pretty neat I think you guys are gonna appreciate that if you're just starting out so like I said before the shared room business is not something that is too much talked about I feel like people only focus on the entire room but with the share room there is a huge business there is a lot of money to be made since I've July 1st I've, I've made over 2k revenue now keep in mind revenue is not the same as profit because I still have expenses I still have my lease to pay water um, I still have electricity internet all these things that go into that however all that money that I'm making pretty much every single month is, is a good chunk of change and it is something that is going to help you save money it is something that is going to help you down the line if you want to you know save money for buying a house you're not paying the full rent out like if you look at rents right now I'm a strong believer that if you have if you have a 2-2 two, two or, or a 3-2 you can rent two rooms out and make a lot of money at least pay half the rent if not more and you can save some money for down the road if you want to buy a house get another house you know whatever else you want to do down the line all right team so that pretty much wraps up the video I just wanted to give you guys a little bit of an insight as you watch my videos what you can expect to see 
my Airbnb business model and pretty much how I run my business, how I do that with having a full-time job, running my Airbnb business, replying to uh, guests, and basically how I run my business and how I take care of business. All right, team, that is it for today. If you like the video, please leave a comment, leave, give a thumbs up on the video. Whatever it is that we do, make sure that we subscribe and see you guys on the next one. Boom, boom. So in today's video, I want to talk about, about but if you are looking, most of the videos that we see online, um, so my home, I, so how, so